Hi guys, this is Mrs. Gassler, and in this video we're going to talk about V versus T graphs for objects moving with a constant velocity. Um, you have a notes page to fill out, uh, and this is what it looks like, V versus T graphs with constant velocity. Um, we're going to start by looking at all the different possible motions that we can have uh, with a constant velocity, and then we're going to turn them into velocity graphs, so we'll do them one at a time. Okay, so I'm going to start with the description of motion. Uh, so first we could move in the positive direction uh, with a fast speed, okay? And when we do that, um, and the positive direction means our line goes up, and fast means that the line is steep, and so I'm going to draw it like this, okay? That's an X versus T graph, a position versus time graph. Uh, and the motion diagram for that, remember that because it is moving fast, our dots are far apart. Um, because it's constant velocity, they're evenly spaced. And because it's constant, our arrows are all the same length, uh, much like that, okay? Um, the next motion that we can look at is moving in the positive direction with a slow speed. What that means for our line is that it's still gonna go up just like this one, but it's gonna be less steep because it's slow, so it's gonna look like this, okay? And our motion diagram, because it's moving slow, our dots are gonna be closer together. Still evenly spaced because it's constant velocity, but the arrows will be shorter all the same length, but shorter than the last one, okay? Now, when we make our velocity versus time graph, um, there's a couple of ways you can think about it. What we're looking at is how the speed is changing. And if you look at the speed, which is the slope of this line, it's the same slope the whole time. So I can look at it that way. I can think, oh, it's going fast. So here, it's still going the same fast. It's still going the same fast, same fast, same fast. It's continuing at the same speed. And when I connect those dots, I end up with a line. Now the other way that I can think about it is I'm taking these arrows and I'm turning them to point up. They're pointing up because they're going in the positive direction. So this would be the positive direction, and this would be the negative direction. And so I've taken my arrows and I've set them up. My actual graph doesn't include those arrows. Let me kind of redraw this over here. So my V versus T graph uh, with time and velocity on it is just the line. So I leave off the arrows, um, and I end up with a line like this, okay? Um, I'll, I'll draw the arrows over here this time just so we can see. So on the, the slow one, my arrows are still going to point up, okay? So um, I'll write something else in a second here, okay? Uh, my arrows are still going to point up, but they're going to be shorter arrows like this when I line them up, okay? My slope is less, so I'm going to put the dot down here. Um, but it's staying the same slope the whole time. So this time my line is going to look like this, okay? So hopefully you can, you can compare here that when it's, it's a flat line because it's going at a constant velocity. So for my velocity versus time graphs, flat equals constant speed, okay? Um, we'll, add, we'll add some more words here in a second. Let's look at the other pos possibility. So here we were moving in the positive direction fast and the positive direction slow. So our thing to change is to move in the negative direction with a fast speed. And then we'll need to move in a negative direction with a slow speed, just like we did in the positive direction, okay? So remember, in the negative direction, now my line is gonna go down. Fast still means steep, so it's gonna go down quickly, like that, okay? Negative direction with a slow speed is gonna go down, but it's not gonna go down as fast, just like this one didn't go up as fast, so it's gonna go maybe like that. Exactly where that line is located depends on where my object is, but it's still going slow, okay? 
on my motion diagram, this time my arrows are gonna point in the other direction because it's going in the negative direction. So my arrows are gonna point to the left. Okay, they point to the right when it's positive, they point to the left when it's negative. They're long because it's fast and they're all the same because it's constant. And down here, my dots are closer together because it's not going as far each second. And my arrows are shorter, but they are, again, all the same, okay? So this time, what do I do with my arrows? So up here, my arrows are pointing up, um, and I'm lining them up next to each other. When it's going in the negative direction, I have to point them down. Oops, let's make these longer because it's faster. Here, I'm gonna be pointing them down, okay? So when I put my line, it's gonna be below the axis, and it'll be closer to the axis when it's slower. So this is where we get a little tricky, okay? So flat means that we're moving at a constant speed, okay? Uh, below the axis, means um, it's, it's going in the negative direction. And above the axis, above, and the axis we're talking about is this x-axis, the t-axis that is, above the axis uh, means that we're going in the positive direction. And how do we distinguish between fast and slow? So our fast ones are here. Do you see how it's far away from the axis? Maybe that's the best way to distinguish them. These are far from the axis, and these are close to the axis, okay? So uh, I'm gonna put that here. Close to the axis means slow, and far from the axis means fast, okay? So on the next page, um, you have some practice where you're going to be drawing some motion diagrams and some X versus T graphs um, and some V versus T graphs. Uh, if you have questions or you need help or you're not sure, especially with these V versus T graphs, they're a little tricky sometimes. Um, just remember that when we're dealing with constant velocity, every single line on a V versus T graph should be flat. Where would the line be if it's not moving? we would put it on the axis if it's not moving because the slope would be zero because it's not going anywhere. Its speed is zero and it's staying zero, so the line would go all the way across right along that axis, okay? All right, again, ask your teacher if you have questions. Thanks for watching.